is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive and today I'm going to try to persuade you into the newest concoction from Nabisco Oreo, the Swedish Fish Oreos. That's right, the Swedish Fish Oreo. Kind of a tongue twister. I am actually really intrigued about this flavor because it doesn't just do chocolate, doesn't just do cinnamon bun, doesn't just do graham cracker. It actually incorporates candy and cookie. A candy cookie. CC. Hashtag. You can use that. So this is Swedish Fish Oreos. I'm going to try it. I actually have a glass of milk. That's rare. And maybe we'll do something fun at the end like I like to do with some of these crazy flavors of Oreos. So let's get up close and personal with this Swedish Fish Oreo. Tongue twister. All right, you saw a little close up there and a little sneak peek of what might be coming at the end of the video. Candy. So I'm looking at this, it's limited edition, does not have the pull tab. And I know this is a nice little uh, talking point with some reviewers out there, but it just makes sense to put the pull tab. It's just plain and simple. When you've got to rip this open and then put it into a big like quart plastic bag to keep it from going bad, you know, why not the pull and peel tab? I don't know. So I don't know, let's take a look at these cookies. As soon as you break the seal on this, you get hit all up in the face noggin with Swedish fish candy scent. Like off the charts, like it just jumped up, put a grappling hook right about the right nostril and proceeded to climb into my nasal passage. So, uh, yeah, like straight up Swedish fish. No scent of chocolate I am getting from this at all, at all. All right, so I got these out of the package. Let's get a closer look at these. You can see the vibrant red that I am checking out, and then I'm gonna try these, but I'm telling you, that smell is overwhelming, overwhelming. All right, so there you go, the chocolate cookie. Got the red filling right there, but there it is. Let me try the uh, inside first. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, I definitely cleaned off both sides of the uh, cream filling and it tastes straight up like a Swedish fish candy. That's amazing. Now if you're anything like me and you like Swedish fish but it always gets stuck inside your teeth, this is definitely a good alternative to that because you're getting the taste of it. The only thing that's kind of messing with me is it's in cream form and when you eat candy, that's in candy form. So my mind's kind of playing a little back and forth, playing a little tennis. Now let's try this with the cookie. All right, here we go with the chocolate cookie. Wish me luck. Okay, I finished that cookie with the chocolate. And again, I'm gonna say this, it does taste like a Swedish fish, but I mean, a Swedish fish is just that. It's candy, it's just the sweetest fish. So when you add chocolate to it, it works. And then again, it doesn't. Only because if you are an aficionado of candy, you like the Swedish fish, you want the Swedish fish flavor and the chocolate in a way works, but in a way it doesn't. And I'm a little bit confused, but I like it. It is a good tasting cookie, it is definitely a great novelty, and I like the way that Oreo actually partnered up with Swedish Fish instead of the generic Fruity Crisp that's on the previous flavor, but let's try dunking this in some milk. All right, there we go. Wish me luck. Uh, drippage. Okay, on their own, they're okay. Like I said, the chocolate kind of messes with your mind, but when you dip it in, then it kind of breaks it down. So when you put it into your mouth, it has more of a feel like the Swedish Fish candy after you've eaten it, you're chewing it, and it kind of breaks down in your mouth. So that's the way to go with these. Good without the milk, a little better with the milk. So let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning 
don't even waste your money. And 100 being the promised land of, oh, I'm going to give the new Oreo Swedish Fish a rating of, Eighty-seven, mainly that high because it does taste like Swedish fish, if that's what you're looking for in a cookie. But dipping it in is definitely the way to go, the more you know. <laughs> All right, so there you go, another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe, and don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement. Everything you see here out to the masses. So thank you very much for joining me on this special Oreo edition of the endorsement. And believe it or not, I found it near me. I usually have trouble finding these specialty Oreos, but eh, what are you gonna do? Thank you again, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. All right, time to get Swedish with it. Mm -hmm. Let's try something here. Not two, not six, not three, not 12, but four. Look at that. Now that is a legitimate Swedish fish Oreo right there. That's a fail. <laughs>